And thanks for joining us right here on Midday Kentucky. Of course, we got caught out chatting again <laughs> on camera. Um, how are we? Good. How are you? Good. What about you? Hey, doing well. What it's did a you? Nice you spent the weekend here. Yeah, I, I went, went to the Arboretum walk. yesterday. That was really oh, nice. Cool. I only stayed that? for about half as long as I thought I would. It was so hot outside. It was, did you wear um, that hat? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the umbrella hat? Yeah. Did, awesome. you, did you bring it into the office today? Uh, no, because you I know you're going to make fun of me. No, you said you were going to bring it in. Okay, this is I'll bring it that, tomorrow. Something that you bought online, we'll show you all tomorrow. <laughs> it's an umbrella hat to block the sun, mm -hmm. but you got to go down to the Arboretum. It's really nice. It's on. Uh, is it considered UK campus? I'm not sure. I, yeah, I, I think so. It's right yeah. by it's the, campus. the UK mm -hmm. campus. Yeah, it's very nice. I went off to see the, a movie called um, the Planet of the Apes movie. I can't remember. War of the Apes, I think mm -hmm. it's called. Fantastic, but definitely don't let the kids. No kids, go. huh? No kids, <laughs> and it's in 3D. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Did you know that? No, I didn't it's know that. It's pretty cool, uh, and I thought it was fun to watch, and mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. But I sort of think, well, what else can they do now? Mm -hmm. I don't think there's going to be another one. Really? Yeah. I, well, I think they wiped out the humans. I've seen. I think that was the story. Oh, I just. I, nice. <laughs> I just realised I gave that away. Well, you know. <laughs> Do not trust me when it comes to a secret. I'll blab. I saw the first two. I loved it. Loved. I love the series. So I can't <laughs> I wait to see it. That. Even though you just gave it away. <laughs> well, why are you not talking about what you talked about every day last week? Winter yes. is here. Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. What was it? <laughs> well, I was talking about that. I sort of got <laughs> thrown. Guys, who watched Game of Thrones? You didn't because you haven't caught up. Mm -hmm. Did our any of our floor crew watch Game of Thrones? Everyone's shaking their head no. Mm -hmm. You weren't allowed to because <laughs> you've got to catch up. I and do. I think you said you have to, to be able to catch up, you have to ha watch 148 hours of TV. I think so, something yeah. like that. You have to watch That's 148 hours oh, okay. worth of episodes before you can watch it. It was so good. Um, I sat up till about... 12 o'clock watching it because I had my other programs that I was watching so we have content for mm -hmm. the show. So you yeah. were blown away by it? Blown away. Loved it. Every minute of it. Wow. I was a little bit confused at the beginning because of what was going on but you've got to watch it. Tell us on our Facebook page if you watch it. What did you get up to my friend? You know what? Didn't do a whole lot this weekend. Went didn't swimming. you go to a wedding? We went swimming. No, no. Didn't oh. go. Oh, she posted, one of my friends posted ah. the pictures from a previous wedding that I went to. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, and they were awesome pictures. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, um, the boys and I went to a swimming pool down in Richmond a at Lake Reba. And have that you all ever been to this? Um, oh, it's only about like 20 minutes, oh, maybe okay. 15, 20 minutes down the, down the interstate. But oh, it was so nice. The pool there is so wonderful, except it was really, really crowded. <laughs> but other than that, it, was, it, it has like water slides and the whole bit. Nice. It's really, the boys Good. loved it. So, yeah. All right, well, let's kick the show off, my friends. Right. It is time to see what today's Dollywood watch and win keyword is. But first, let's see what you can win, Miss Katie. And as we've been saying, we're giving away that family prize bundle for Dollywood. It includes a four-pack of tickets to Dollywood's Splash Country, complimentary retreat rental at Dollywood's Splash Country, four-pack of Dollywood season tickets, four-pack of tickets to Dolly Parton's Smoky Mountain Adventures, dinner and show, and a one-night stay at Dollywood's Dream War Resort and Spa. Such an awesome package. Love it. To participate in the contest, tune in to Good Morning Kentucky, Midday Kentucky, and ABC 36 News at 6. And listen for the keyword, and you will take it, the keyword, over to our website and enter it in. So today's keyword is Dollywood Express. So go to WTVQ.com, click on the contest tab, and enter Dollywood Express along with an email, and you will be entered to win. And so many people have entered, we found out this morning, that it's just been going so well. Yeah, this is a very, very cool yeah. giveaway. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Guys, head on. And what was the, the, the word again? Uh, Dollywood Express. Oh, we love that. There Dollywood it is. Express. Dollywood Express. Hey, guys, Lisa, you've got a great topic that you want to talk about because you think you could help Doug. Yes, <laughs> it'll help me. It'll help and we're me. We're talking about a brand new smart pillow. It is so awesome. I came across this on the internet, and it, what it is is it is a a Remfit. The name of the company is Remfit, and it unveiled a two hundred ninety nine dollars smart pillow that can track your sleep habits, stop you from snoring, which is important for yeah. Doug, 
and even stream music to lull you to sleep. It's called the ZQ Pillow, and uh, which was on display at CE Week in Manhattan, and it can connect to your smartphone apps and smart home assistants such as Amazon's Alexa. It's equipped with wireless speakers, a microphone, vibration motors, and a gyroscope to track your activity. And despite the technology pack design, it's also incredibly comfortable. But I wonder if it's got, like, if you can feel all that stuff in there. It's, it it's said it's comfortable. Now, I haven't gotten one yet, but I, I really Are do want to get one. I you're going to spend $299. I want one, yes. I spent $100 on a pillow once, so I think that this, mm. uh, this sounds really interesting to me. But a lot of people also want to have their, their sleep tracked at night to see how well really? they're sleeping and things like that through their smartphones and apps. Have you ever heard of this? I mean, mm -hmm. if you... Well, I know there's people out there that like to track that. I don't, I don't yeah. know what it does for you, though. Well, I, you know, I think it gives people a heads up if, if they're getting a, a very well-rested night's sleep, other yeah. than how they feel in the morning, but it, they can kind of tell, too, where they're having disturbances at night, and they might be able to get help for that. But um, with this, a lot of times people don't want to keep their smartphones right there in the bed with them, or they don't want to have devices hooked up to them as they're sleeping. Well, so this pillow is kind of the answer to that. And just remember, Katie, there's been a lot of conversation over these last few weeks on the internet about people putting their phones under their pillow or whatever right. while they're asleep and it's been charging and then catches on fire yeah, for the scary. power cord. Mm -hmm. So I guess this could work, yeah. but I don't know whether I'd want a pillow that, you know, it sends has me to sleep. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't spend that much on a pillow. No, it but could, <laughs> I don't know about that. I agree. I don't think, I think if you could, sp you'd probably spend an extra thousand on a mattress or something, yeah. I don't know. Right. An extra hundred, maybe. On well, a mattress? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I wouldn't personally actually get it for me. I would get it for Doug, though, okay. because, and why this is, um, the pillow has like eight speakers built into it. It has a, the ability, though, to be able to wake someone if they're snoring, and it vibrates to wake them up uh, gently. Well, that's handy. And so, I, which I think is awesome, but also, um, it can vibrate to wake them up in the mornings. So Doug's alarm doesn't have to go off at 3.30 in the morning and wake me up in the process. Well, it should it actually be going off at 3, mind you. He's <laughs> getting up a little too late to get to the office. What time do you get up? 3. So he should be going up at 3. From now on, well, that's... I'll we'll relay <laughs> that information to Doug. <laughs> hey, um, I wanted to... Um, t something that I struggled with, and most people do when they come to America, mm -hmm. is tipping. Mm -hmm. And I remember the first trip I ever came to America, and this guy, I was going skiing, and this guy said to me, I went to get in the car, and he said, do you want your bags, buddy? I said, yes. <laughs> he said, well, where's the tip? I went, what? I had no concept that you had to tip someone at the airport to put your bags in the car. and So what's this issue now? That's interesting, actually, because most of the time people are doing these things, then you tip them. Right. So I'm surprised yes. that someone would say that. Don't worry. Before. I obviously look like a tourist. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> um, but I thought this was a really interesting study that I saw online that said only half of tippers, when it comes to restaurants, fall between what they would say is the norm, and that's 16 to 20 percent on a bill. Half of people tip lower than that. Mm -hmm. uh, some other interesting points in this study, before I ask you how much you guys tip, they say that you're most likely to get the highest tip from a Republican male that lives in the Northeastern United States. They also <laughs> say men tip better than women at restaurants. Uh, what, do you guys, what do you guys think? <laughs> how men much do you tip? 20%. Always, for Always everything? 20. Always 20. Well, that's what I was told to do. And if you tip 15, you look cheap. <laughs> that's what I was I like. Yeah. And let me tell you, also when I first moved here, I was tipping the doctor and my, my <laughs> co-host went, who are you tipping, Troy? I mean, everywhere I go, I feel like I'm tipping. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't need to be doing that. So I I've now understand who you tip and who you don't. You do, okay. Yeah. You're learning well, I think that um, bills get tricky at restaurants because do you always tip 20% on the alcohol too? I think that that's oh. what the study talked about, mm -hmm. where you really only bought me, you brought me one drink that took one minute, but maybe it was, you know, mm -hmm. a $15 drink. That's not really the same as my meal that you brought and you were checking up on me and cleaning it. So that's what the study was pointing out, that people think that there's different levels of, I wouldn't tip 20% uh, on feel that way. alcohol, mm -hmm. but I would tip. You know, if I ordered a glass of wine, I'd tip a dollar or uh -huh. whatever, but if I ha but then I would tip the twenty percent on my well, meal and everything. Well, what is the etiquette? Well, I don't know. That's what they're talking about. And then, but this is something else mm. interesting in the study. They said that men tip better than women at restaurants, 
but um, in terms of personal hygiene, like hair salons or laundry appointments or things like that, that women tip more because well, if it tends to be the more feminine um, service. Job. service. Well, it's what do you funny think? because the other day I was at the barber and you pay on on his iPhone, mm -hmm. and it, and it was the first time I noticed it it had automatically tipped twenty six percent. That was the cheapest way to tip. Does that make sense? So I thought, oh, I've been tipping him twenty six percent all this time and didn't even realize. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> wow, like, yeah. Yeah. I tip a higher high. percent, but you are supposed to tip more on um, personal services oh, okay. than at restaurants. Mm -hmm. If I was getting like a haircut or a wax, I would tip more. Like I would still tip per 18 is to 20 it, at a restaurant, yeah. but I would tip 20 or a little more. I do 20% at a restaurant. If I, um, with my hair salon, that's kind of, I, I do tip okay. higher Okay, yeah, that. I tip higher When we there. go to Chick-fil-A, yes. we line up or we do the drive through uh -huh. Do you tip 20%? No. Do you tip 20% when you're lined up at McDonald's? No. Like, <laughs> no. Okay. No, just at restaurants, but don't you where feel it's a sit-down restaurant where waiters or waitresses are serving yeah. the table. So you shouldn't That's have to tip the people at the counter. No. Okay. But then sometimes I wonder why that comes up on yeah. your card. Like and if you Starbucks? swipe at certain just coffee places where I just ordered an iced coffee that's uh -huh. already made and you just drained it, right. you know, in my cup, and then it, it comes up, what do you want to tip? And it starts at like 20%, yeah. 20, yeah. 25, 30%, and it's kind of like... You feel like obligated, right? <laughs> it's like, right. I don't like. Where are you supposed to tip, and where is okay not to? I know. I you know. I just. I don't. Well, really I'd do like that everyone right to there. tell us what they I know, feel I know. on Facebook. Did you put this on Facebook? Uh, yes, I did. Good job. Tell us what you feel, and tell us how you feel about are uh, some services worth fifteen percent, or some services worth a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Something that I wanted to jump and tell you all about is. <laughs> Intra it was an interesting topic that I saw, okay? A woman who discovered her husband was looking at X-rated images online. Okay. Okay. Which happens. Okay. <laughs> Took revenge by uploading a selfie of herself. Well, well she's talking about her breasts. Uh -huh. Okay. And it went online and she ended up telling him. And he was absolutely furious that she had done that. Okay, so okay. wait a second. She did this in revenge, Into revenge for finding out that, that he, he was, was doing looking at. Ah. And I don't know whether it was pornographic um, videos that he was watching yeah. or just images. Right. Here's my question to this. There was a lot of slack on face on on Mumsnet, I think it is Mumsnet. Um, Toward who? That both. Okay. That she had done the wrong thing. She shouldn't have done that to him by putting a picture of herself up on the <laughs> website but there was also a lot of you know kudos getting him back was basically yeah. the conversation do you think that's a form of cheating when someone is your husband or wife are looking at images and that on the on the web well i don't really think that being spiteful you know an eye for an eye is the yeah. best way to handle Not a relationship <laughs> but in this scenario i don't think that is an eye for an eye like I he know. was just looking at images of someone else no one, he, he wasn't uploading pictures of himself to show yes, to people, but, uh, and that's okay. where you're supposed to be exclusive. Well, yeah. I, got to, I missed something out. No, you just said oh, that. Oh, he was doing that. No, 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 oh. no. But what happened was she uploaded it to the web and got an enormous amount of comments from other guys saying how beautiful she was and all that sort of stuff. Well, so that's why it's different. Yeah. She's getting now attention from other men yeah. where... It's yeah. just he, not the same. Yeah, he, it I wasn't like he was uploading pictures of himself. No, and yeah. getting he was just looking at things. Right. So uh -huh. do you think he, he was warranted to be so upset with her for doing that? I just, I think it's kind of crazy that she did that. I mean, I just, that's not, out there, <laughs> that's you. just not the way I would have gotten back at him, I guess, you know? I mean, maybe not cooking dinner for him that night <laughs> would have been a good idea. <laughs> I don't know about uploading any pictures. It's That's a way crazy. to get back at him. Don't yeah. Cook the dinner. Yeah, I mean, you know, don't do his laundry or whatever, you know? I mean, yeah. I, why would you upload a picture of yourself and put yourself out there? Okay, for you the put this online. World. Tell us yes. what you think. Read the article. Um, be interesting to see what all the women think crazy. out there about the story as well. Hey, guys, after the break, Joey from Stidham Reconstruction and Investigation joins mm -hmm. us to talk about. You, you, you're you going to like this topic. Oh, you're going to love it. We've you're been investigating your, your car. My car? Yeah, we have all oh the information. Oh, my goodness. Keep it right here, everyone. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> It's midday Kentucky, really. <laughs> Where have I been?